Welcome, everybody. We're going to talk about this 1961 Mercedes-Benz that we have on Bring a Trailer for Sale. Um, we've done a number of things to the car since submitting the original photos. So we're going to call some of those out on the video so you can see how we've uh, advanced the car a little bit. So I want to start by opening the hood and showing you uh, what we've done. So we've got a few things that we've done since we took the original photographs and one being this fuse cover had silver paint on it, which is not correct. It should be like a brown Bakelite finish. So we took that off. Uh, we do have the factory hold down, the battery hold down for the battery and it, we did put a new battery in. The other one was five years old and it just was tired. Uh, we've got this switch that's a cutoff switch which is very nice to have. So if you're not gonna be using the car, you can just disconnect the battery, it's pretty cool. We put a new fuel line on, we did dry clean the carburetors and take care of uh, the rust that was on some of the screws. And we took some of the silver paint that was on some of the linkage and parts in the engine bay that just didn't belong, shouldn't be there to begin with. And there is a uh, factory original fuel filter system that's not being used, it's still there, but it's not being used, so if you ever wanted to hook it up, you could. Um, but we just wanted to kind of brighten things up a little bit and try to get it more authentic to what the car would have been in 1961. I always like to hold this latch in so it doesn't rub. And down with the hood. So let's come back and take a look at this top bow chrome piece. So this is an aftermarket chrome piece, and you can feel the ridges on it. The factory original was a nice curved, like half moon. And this would go on the back of the top. I didn't put it on when we put the new top on because it's missing some of the nails. And I don't think it would stay very well. They're $500. Uh, maybe you could have someone put the nails back on, but see, they fall right off. So now there's another one off. <laughs> so we have this not correct, but traditional domestic style fabric uh, finish on this top. So I just want everybody to know that this is not uh, proper Mercedes Benz 1961. Okay, so there's a few things about this car. I wanna talk for just a second about the finish on this car. It is exceptional. This paint job is one of the best that I've seen in a very long time, especially being black. Uh, we had our guy Kyle from Obsessed Garage do the final polish on it, and it's extraordinary. The chrome is exceptional as well, front and back. There's one little, in the photograph gallery, you'll see one little section of the top of the grill that has a little ding in the chrome. But other than that, the chrome is fantastic. Uh, let me go ahead and open up the trunk. Uh, trunk is exceptional condition as well. Uh, it's got the original prop rod here. I uh, got the original spare and jack. Uh, it did have wide whites, which is kind of cool. Um, so if you wanted to put tires on it, you know, wide whites would probably be the way to go. And the floor mat here, let me pull this up. These are delicate, but like to be careful. It's not all rusted out. And you can see this is the access for the fuel tank. And there's no tool kit with this car. That's a spare tire well as well, one on each side. But everything's here and it's in good order. Put this back up, clip it in place, and then use the key to latch this, otherwise it just stays. So the interior of this car is really pretty exceptional. Um, I like to be careful about using adjectives like that, but it is very nice. Uh, it's kind of sad that we don't know the story uh, behind who spent all the money on this car. Uh, it, it came from Michigan. It was traded at a new car franchise store in South Florida, and then it came to us. So red leather, new carpet, the chrome and the paint on the dash is really, really nice. Uh, there is a crack in the steering wheel that was called out in the description on Bring a Trailer. It's a very fine hairline crack, but nonetheless, it's there. Uh, I'm gonna work on the dash light. There's a little flip up dash light that's not working, uh, map light is what it is, I think. 
but everything else is functional. All of the slides for the ventilation controls are intact and they work properly. Um, the antenna is manual antenna and you just raise that up and down. It's radio does come on and it does play AM stations. So uh, we look forward to uh, taking you for a drive and showing you what the car's like on the road. the 40 mile an hour shake. So it could be drive line, could be tires out of balance, it could be a number of things. But bottom line is, as you get to 35 to 38 mile an hour, you'll feel the car shake a little bit. And then you get exiting about 42 or three, it goes away. So it's hard to say exactly what it is, but it's pretty much not there. See, that was, start to pick up on it a little bit at 25 to 30. So I'll call it out, 20 mile an hour, 